Hello everybody, welcome back to Nervous Reviews. Back to the Dresden Reviews now. Now I understand that I've taken a little bit of a break, and uh, I have a lot of excuses for that, but I don't think you care about them, but just suffice to know, it, they were a break well taken. Uh, I did a lot of stuff in that break, just not YouTube stuff. And for the sake of uh, transparency, I will be taking probably more breaks in the future. Anyway, back to Deadbeat. Now this is a really cool book. I think it's the highest Dresden book that I've rated ever, and because this book has been so highly rated, it's got me thinking quite a bit. It's one of those books where I step away from the world, and I don't quite step away from the world, it just kind of lingers in my mind. And that's really cool about this book, because no other Dresden book has done that. There's a reason I consider this the best Dresden book. The first half of the novel is very, very interesting because it goes with the standard Dresden formula. However, as soon as you cross the halfway point, you start to get into this really big, uh, this isn't just a Dresden formula, it's kind of like a, a world ending or like apocalyptic uh, story, and it doesn't really just go with the normal Dresden style, it really shakes it up and just kind of goes with the normal Dresden style, but with a lot of more added stuff, especially with the side characters, who a lot of them come back and a lot of stuff changes. And it's super interesting because of that. One thing that I didn't like about this book was the guy, Butters. I didn't really like him that much. Now I know that people like him uh, otherwise, and I think that sometimes he, he's a lot of fun, but especially in this book, he seemed to kind of take a front seat and he didn't really deserve a front seat. He seemed like he was asking a lot of questions and didn't really contribute a lot. He was more or less just there for comedic relief, just for character, and character is good, don't get me wrong, but he didn't serve a purpose to the plot, which is one of those things. This book is just one of those books that you need to serve the plot in order for it to be interesting. It's not like one of those beautiful philosophical books like uh, Sandman that you can get away with having a character that doesn't really do anything to advance the plot, and they're just there for the beauty and the philosophy. This is not one of those books. This one is fully just action. That's what it's supposed to be, and Butters takes away from that. He does provide a little bit of plot, but I did find him more disengaging than engaging. Now, what I enjoyed most about this book was ending. The ending was really, really cool, because like I said, the second half of the book really goes full on action, and everybody comes back and has a big, big ball of great fun. And that is exactly, exactly the best thing that I want to see out of this book. I really want it to be a lot of fun, just like it was. I was just breezing through the pages, completely forgetting that I was reading, which just doesn't happen often for me, by the way. I just really, really enjoyed it, just going full in and just having a lot of fun. Now, from what I understand, the entirety of Dresden came about when he plotted out the entire series by one one kind of sentence in each, each series or each book, and that's kind of how he based the entire book. And you can really tell that with other books. They usually have one cool, interesting thing, and everything else kind of stretches that out. And it's not that great, it's just kind of interesting because of the one thing and it's not that good it doesn't really matter uh, this book is not like that it seems like he had a bunch of really good ideas mashed them together in order to get a really fun action-packed book and that was that's really great about this because unlike other books it doesn't become a story it becomes a story with really awesome defining moments where this really cool happens and then this really cool thing happens and then this happens and then this combines them and then this happens and this happens and everything connects and it's really cool so overall you do get a really big mass of great ideas great ideas great ideas which is something that the old Dresden books have missed this really got me thinking because this is one of those books that feels like just one of the great Dresden books it pulls together so much and it isn't just one normal idea, it's a lot of ideas, and that's really cool. But by far, the most interesting thing and most awesome thing about this book is the title, Dead Beat. Now, at first I was like, what does that mean? How could that mean anything at all? I thought, like, dead beat, you know, like somebody who's not there. Is that what that means? No, that doesn't mean anything. I kept thinking about it. It's a dead space beat. Oh, oh, that's genius. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love that. That's so, so smart. That's so... That's so good. Like, I can't believe somebody came up with a title like that. That's maybe my favorite title ever. It's just one of those so funny, funny, funny jokes, and I love it. I love it. If you don't read this book, just read the book for the title. It's so, so funny. I, I love that about it. And I guess that's the best thing about it, which it, it doesn't say that much because a lot of it was really awesome, but this title is awesome. So overall, this is my favorite Dresden book easily, by far, um, but it doesn't really transcend the pretty good book territory. You know, it's not it's not a great book. It's a, it's a pretty good book, you know? It's a pretty good book. It doesn't exceed that. However, it does exceed every other Dresden book easily. There's no other Dresden book that I've remembered as vividly as this one, even weeks after reading it. So for sure, this is the best Dresden book. And if you want to see at which point Dresden gets really good, I think Blood Rites is probably the point where it gets really good, but this is the one where you kind of see the great parts of Dresden finally solidify and see it as one great actual story. So that's why I love this book so much and I'm really excited to read the next book, which I will be getting to soon after To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, The Big Chunky Boy. Ah, uh, man, that one's kind of annoying. It's not that good, uh, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's difficult. You'll wait till the review to see it. Overall, this book is a three out of five stars. It's a pretty good book, like I said before, but not great. It's not a four star for me. Um, it is pretty good. So if you enjoyed this review and if you want to see any of my other reviews, please hit the subscribe button down below and uh, check out my channel to see all my other Dresden book reviews. Also, if you enjoyed this review or if you enjoyed this book, please leave a like down below. Also, 
also leave a comment to tell me what you thought about this book or what you thought about Dresden overall. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions and I'm really interested in discussing this book with you. Also, by the way, my Goodreads is in the description to see exactly what I'm reading right now. So uh, go ahead, follow me there if you want. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it waiting for me over all this uh, break time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video that I posted uh, last week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.